For centuries, fermentation has been used all over the world to fight waste, to preserve our food, or even to give it more taste. And for 170 years at the SAP, we've been, we've been working with a lot of fashion and expertise on its great properties. So we believe, we strongly believe that microorganisms and fermentation are one of the most promising answers for the challenges that humanity is facing and is going to face in the future. Today, microorganisms and ingredients derived from fermentation uh, constitute a new wide uh, field that uh, we can explore. And our ambition at LESAF is to be uh, one of the leaders of uh, the movement around fermentation. The research, development, and the innovation at LESAF is a bit strong, complex ecosystem. For example, Alicia and myself, uh, we work in the SAF Institute of Science and Technology, or LIST, which is kind of the corporate R&D team of the company. And uh, the SAF Institute of Science and Technology include, includes seven centers of excellence, and we work in uh, two centers of excellence, uh, which are dedicated for the management, screening, and characterization of microorganisms at low, medium, and high uh, throughput. Uh, in total, our R&D team uh, includes uh, 600 experts uh, that belongs or to the corporate team, so this, or to the different uh, affiliated companies to the SAF that we call uh, business units. And uh, we also collaborate with more than 70 uh, promising partners in the academia and uh, also startups. Uh, the main R&D activity at the SAF is done in Yeast but we also uh, interact with the different R&D of uh, the business units. Uh, the research that is performed by this R&D is more applicative and more uh, market-driven. Uh, in this slide, we decided to put three of our star products that you can see in the corner on the left. So we have the Ceph Instant, which is the baker yeast, and the two probiotics, uh, BSC1 and uh, MicroSeph. So these two probiotics are uh, based on uh, spore-forming bacteria that, that are called bacillus. And they are used uh, respectively for uh, boosting the, immune, the immune system for the human and for the, to improve the digestion and the growth uh, of birds. And they are developed and commercialized respectively by the two business units, Gnosis, that work with uh, the human health, and Phileo, that uh, works for the animal care. And in addition to these two business units, we have seven uh, more. Uh, and their activity, it varies from uh, fermentation of beverage to the production of aroma. We have also the baking center, which activity is to bring support uh, to the customer to uh, increase their expertise in bread making and to bring them new innovative uh, solutions. Uh, I will not go more in detail for these business units, but if you are interested to know more, don't hesitate to come and solicit Alicia or me during the lunch break. Uh, in addition to the fermentation, one of the six assets of uh, Le Sarge, uh, is the high microbiological uh, biodiversity that we have in our collection. Indeed, it uh, contains uh, more than 20,000 microorganisms that we own, and we can find, uh, find among, among them uh, yeasts, bacteria, fungi, and phages. And this diversity allows us to bring uh, solutions for our business units and our partners. Uh, I will end up this first part by presenting the flow cytometry park at Le Sap. So what we see on this slide is only the equipment that we find in the uh, list. Uh, so the first uh, flow cytometry was acquired in 2008. At that time, uh, the panel of molecules that are dedicated to the analysis of microorganisms was very limited. And since that day, our, uh, look, our flow cytometry park continued to develop, especially when Atune crossed our road and we became a big fan of this equipment. So as you can see, we have four uh, Atune NXT in our uh, list. One of them has one laser and three has, uh, have four lasers. And they are also coupled to Sidekick or auto samplers. Uh, one of them is coupled to an orbitor that allows us to, uh, to stack a microplate to uh, do high throughput screening. And uh, two of the Atune are side peaks, and one of them, I think, is installed today in our, uh, in our campus. 
So uh, in addition to the attune, you have uh, one side flow and one side of flex that have different uh, fluidic and optical systems that can be interesting for uh, some applications. And finally, we have uh, one uh, Moflow Astrios that is also a uh, cell sorter that we use for screening microorganisms. So in addition to all of these uh, many R&D sites of the business units or production and quality control uh, sites, uh, they have uh, other flow cytometry. So I will leave there upon the floor to Alicia to speak more about how we use uh, flow cytometry for microorganisms enumeration. So thanks, Baba, for this introduction. So I will continue the presentation with two topics related to microorganisms enumerations. So the first one concerns enumerations of passage spore by flow cytometry. And the second one will consist in enumeration of seeds during baking of wet dough by flow cytometry. So first of all, as as said Barbara, we are working on several microorganisms at USF. So yeast, bacteria, fungi. These uh, microorganisms microorganisms can take several forms. It can be dry products or lyophilizates for bacteria, or it can be also fresh culture. So we need to develop flow cytometry adapted for all the forms can, uh, that microorganisms can take. And we also face to have to with, uh, have working with um, complex matrix as uh, microbiota pseudo, which is a mix between yeast, bacteria, and vegetal cells, and also on uh, solid matrix as both. So it's in that way that the cyclics of uh, imaging uh, technology can be uh, useful for determining the precise gates and uh, have more accurate counts on uh, microorganisms. So first of all, I will talk about bacteria and uh, I will present a work which has been published uh, in 2021 on bacterial spore animation using flow cytometry. So you may ask why do this type of study? So as I said, as she said, uh, Bacillus is a product at the SAP, it's commercialized as probiotic products. So we need a method to uh, have an enumeration of our products. So the best known method for enumeration is plate counting method, but there is some limitation of each issue. So the first one can be the interoperator variation. Uh, it's a very time consuming uh, method because it takes three to five days to have results. And it's slow adapted adapted to certain forms of bacteria as BBNC cells or called uh, viable but non-cultivable cells. So we decided to make a proof of concept to uh, enumerate bacillus spores with flow cytometry. We decided to start with bacillus subtilis and after we have tested on other species of bacillus. So to start the development, we are working on fresh culture of bacillus. So the first step was to analyze the kinetics of sporulation of bacillus. So bacillus subtilis was a culture and sporulation medium up to 144 hours to determine uh, the kinetic of sporulation. So what we can see is uh, after 24 hours, the concentration of spore raised notably and uh, reached a plateau about 48 hours of culture. And this time point was selected to uh, prepare the, the spore uh, for the rest of the experiment. So the second step was to develop the flow cytometry methods. So we have identified two probes interesting. So the first one is a nucleic acid staining, which is LDS 751 to have a total cell in analysis and to uh, differentiate uh, the spores between the matrix and uh, to identify the different populations and we have uh, coupled this probe with uh, CITO24. 
for the proof of concept, we have mixed uh, spores and vegeta vegetative cells in known proportions to identify the situation and uh, making a gating st strategy. So concerning the gating strategy we used, so the first step was to differentiate singlets and doublet cells because it's very important. Uh, Bacillus subtis uh, made many clusters, so it can uh, very influence the results of the method. And after this gating strategy was applied in the fluorescence strategy, where we have uh, determined the free population we have, so spore vegetative cells and the BNC and its cells. Concerning the enumeration, so we take into account the singlets, the doublet cells, and the concentration with the um, dilution factor applied to the sample. Concerning the results of the proof of concepts, so there is mixing between spore and vegetative cells, and there is the cytograph of the results. So forward for, to the right, there is an increase of the proportion of vegetative cells and a decrease of spores. So we can see uh, that uh, the proportions are correlated with the proportion we have on the cytograph. Uh, and I think it for this slide. So after uh, developing the method on fresh culture, we have confirmed the method on lyophilized bacillus. So for the step, the first step was to rate, rate, rate the rehydration of bacillus. It's a very important step uh, <coughs> because it's the same problem. We have a lot of aggregates, so we have uh, put a lot of time to uh, set this parameter of homogenization <coughs> and sonication. After, the analysis consists in cultivability analysis, so with plate counting method, and to compare this method with flow cytometry method uh, using the two stimuli presented. So concerning the results, first on Bacillus subtilis, so this results have been done on five batches of Bacillus subtilis. So we can see that there is a co correlation between flow cytometry, so the blue bar and plating uh, plating cone method, the orange bar, and uh, on uh, enumeration of, of spore and on total variable count. So the, this result comforts us in our method and we test in other species of Bacillus, so Lichenifornis pulmonicus and Belezensis. And we can see that the correlation is still good on other species of probiotics. And we decided to validate the method with uh, using self-sorter to have a live microscopic uh, information of the population we have done, fun. we have gating uh, before. So we can see that for spores we have uh, small uh, refractive forms that are specific to spores form. For vegetative cells, we have uh, world shaped bacteria. And for BBNC and N cell, we have a mix between the two populations, but we don't have confirmed that there is BBNC or D cells uh, for the moment. So that's all for the part of Bacillus. Now I will talk about complex matrix and with yeast. So not bacteria anymore, but yeast in bread dough. So this work was also published in 2022. And it consists of uh, developing a methodology to uh, <coughs> determine the vi viability of Saccharomyces cerealisae during, during break baking of bread dough by flu cytometry. So this method was developed for a compilation of fermentation and baking process at lab scale. Uh, we need to develop a real-time method for yeast enumeration in solid matrix, and it gives a complementary method to the uh, plate counting method. So uh, to do this uh, study, we used two different strains to have comparable results. And the first step was to prepare a bread dough. So we have uh, mixing uh, ingredients. And after we have seven minutes of proofing time, uh, to, be 
reproductible we have uh, generate a large white dough uh, large white dough and divide it in five pieces uh, egal pieces and we are generate also a negative control with our teeth And the after we have baking the bread dough 21 minutes because it's a reference to have a baking bread in a electrical resistance oven. Concerning the analysis, so we have divided the large bread dough we have generated in five uh, egal parts to have uh, one part for each time point and each temperature to compare the the variability of yeast during the time. And uh, we have made uh, so time point sampling and the sampling was to uh, take 10 grams in the center of the bread <coughs> dough for each, for each time point. After the samples were treated to be analyzed by flow cytometry, so we used the machine and it tracks too. And after we made two two analysis, so cultivability analysis by plate printing and flow cytometry analysis. For flow cytometry analysis, we use the same probe as previously in Bacillus, so nucleic acid staining. This uh, allows us to distang uh, distinguish yeast from the background noise and the matrix. And the second one was the viability probe and we use DBAC. Concerning so the flow cytometry strategy, the first step was to differentiate yeast from the matrix. So we have gating on the LDS positive populations. And after we have uh, applied this uh, gating strategy on uh, two parameters uh, histogram with fluorescence. And uh, we can we have identified two zones thanks to the negative control with without yeast because there is a, an apparition and disappearance disappearance of population of yeast. So in this graph, we can see at time point zero we have have left this in R nine and we we have we didn't have DD at the R10, and after, with uh, the time, we have disappearance of this R9 population and apparitions of R10 populations. So we confirm that uh, there is uh, uh, there is dead cells in the, uh, there is only dead cells in the time point 21 of baking uh, of Puerto. Uh, so we have made graphics of the two strains to compare the results. So in this graphic, you have say, uh, plate counting results and cytometry results. So at each time point, so we can see at time point 0, 10 and 12 and down before proofing, we have the same number of yeast and after 12, after 12, so 40 and 21, we have a, a decrease in the concentration of yeast and we reach the, the, the background noise at 21 points. The problem with enumeration at 21 points is that there is a low concentration of cell and so we are uh, in the limit of detection of flow cytometry. So we have uh, mean, uh, we have done a calcul to mean uh, the relative, <coughs> relative cell variability to avoid this, uh, this problem. And we can see that the results are mostly the same. We have a decrease after 10 minutes of the concentration of, vi of uh, variable yeast and raise uh, near zero, uh, zero percent after uh, 15 minutes. Um, we can see also that uh, there is a correlation between uh, flow cytometry method and uh, plate counting method, and it was uh, evaluated with correlation between the two methods for the two strain, and uh, we have the correlation between the two methods, and um, we used 
we confirm that flow cytometry can be an analyzed done uh, and can uh, give us more information and complementary information with plate counting methods. So in conclusion, uh, for the development of uh, microorganism, microorganisms analysis by flow cytometry, the biggest challenge is to selecting the right control to have the to determine the gating and validate the gating strategy. So the use of microscopy, cell sort of side pits are helping in this uh, strategy to associate uh, visual, uh, visual imaging with the gating strategy we have done. And uh, so I present two methods, but at LOSAF we are not working only on DNA staining, but we are also, also working in physiological state, enzymatic acidity, and metabolic production. As said, Barbara, we are limited with pop for a moment, but uh, we are always working for new probes and new applications for our uh, innovation projects. So thanks for listening and we are open to take some questions.